Hello anyone and everyone. Welcome to the September 2020 Tech Design Update for Seeds of Earth. A refactored rig system now allows for more flexible weapons and special abilities, expanding the scripting capabilities and preparing the foundation for more weapon types in the near future, such as drone bays, flak cannons, laser mines, sniper lasers, and shrapnel grenades, to name a few. In parallel with these scripting expansions for rigs, a new approach to module generator organization will make future content creation more focused. Module generators are now aligned to a particular faction, such as Galileo Science and Technology, or Origa Mining, or the Singular themselves, which presents particular traits for that module type. Those faction traits are then used to generate modules at any quality level. For example, GST railguns fire very quickly and have medium range but generate tons of heat. Meanwhile, YGV railguns fire much more slowly, have longer range, and deal slightly more damage. This generator reorganization will help to give each faction a unique feel within the loot system and drastically simplify the approach to expanding the loot tables into the later quality levels. Last but not least, prototyping for static mesh-based ship chassis is underway to replace the current skeletal mesh implementation. The original plan was to use skeletal meshes to animate chassis details and build death effects and other similar effects, and this worked great up until now. But with no 3D artists or animators on the team, we simply cannot build the content required for this system. Instead, static meshes are easier to find for sale on various marketplaces, easier to request from contractors, and generally more performant in-game. This approach does mean that some polish details, such as moving parts of a ship, and ship designs will likely have to change, but scalability for planned content is more important, at least for now. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check in for updates about Seeds of Earth next time.